um, I'll run my finger across the, the edge here and you can see all the cards flying by. And whenever you like, you just call out the word stop. It's stop right there, for example. Now, if you could remember this card, okay? And I'll use two other cards to find your selection. In this case, for example, those two, a black uh, eight and, uh, and a nine. And now let's first see how a really bad magician would do that, okay? Somebody who hasn't had much practice. You just spread all those cards and then put the two cards somewhere in the deck and uh, he would say, well, now your card is somewhere between those two cards. Well, it's not so impressive uh, considering that uh, almost the whole deck is between those two cards. But now let's see how a magician who had some more practice might um, approach this problem. You can just shake the deck and then those two cards have actually traveled a little bit. See, they have come closer together uh, in, the, in the middle of the deck here. One is here, one is there. And uh, now I would still say, now your card is between those two. Well, it's better, but maybe we can still um, go one step further because there are still quite a few cards between those. Um, now, for example, which card did you remember? What was your card? Six of, of clubs, six of clubs, okay. So I just try that again, give the deck a little shake. And I think by now we should have located exactly one card and one card only, and that happens to be precisely the six of clubs. Here's a little uh, strange little something. For example, Dennis, could you just uh, pick out any of those cards? And uh, George, shame, same for you, just you go ahead, reach in there. And now I'm, I'm going to show you how to locate selected cards, or how to develop the, the eye for the cards to see which ones they are. Um, if you can just uh, put them back. May maybe you put them back here and you there, so I'm, they're not uh, too close together. Now, usually when you had those two cards lost in the deck and the deck shuffled, there's no way to, to know exactly which cards were chosen, right? But fortunately, there's a secret German method to find those, uh, find those two selected cards. And um, the only thing I have to do is to ask for the color of the card. So Dennis, for example, we'll start with you. Um, was your card red or black? Red. Red. See, and that's all that I need to know, because in this case, I can tell you uh, with the utmost confidence that your card was uh, red, you said, yeah? Was actually the, the queen of hearts, yes? That's Queen of Hearts, see? Yeah, and it's quite easy when you know how to do it because it's a, a red card, you see? Queen of Hearts is obviously the red card, so that uh, solves that problem. Now, Josh, uh, in your case, m more difficult, you must have uh, selected a black card then, I right? See. Black card. Um, but I think if I just uh, develop the right gaze for that, I think uh, I may tell you, yeah, you got the, the Four of Spades, is yes, that right? Yeah, because right. yeah, it's the black card, you see? Four of Spades, so it's actually quite easy when you know how, see? Four of spades, black card, queen of hearts. I mean, of course, it could have been any of the others. Yeah? You know, two of diamonds is sometimes picked, so you can never be quite sure. But uh, usually it works. 